the life of a true servant. In our last story, we learned how Balaam was unable to curse Israel, but instead blessed them three times. He prophesied from God and spoke blessings and truth over them. Finally, he spoke of an all-powerful one that would come from Israel, a shining star from Jacob. In this story, we learn about the passing of Moses, his final words before God, and how Joshua became the new leader to lead the Israelites into the Promised Land, as inspired by the Book of Numbers and Deuteronomy. It was still evening when the Lord spoke to Moses. The stars spread across the skies like a tapestry. Moses, now 120 years old, slept in his tent soundly. Dawn was approaching, and God spoke to Moses in the quiet, saying, Go up to the mountain, and I will let you gaze upon the land I have promised Israel. Even though you may not enter it, I shall let you see the fruit of your labor before you die. Moses had already accepted his fate and was going to welcome death gracefully. However, he was still concerned about the people of Israel. Moses, still lying in his bed, spoke to the Lord, saying, God of body and soul, appoint a man from among the people who shall lead, for they will be like sheep without a shepherd. Moses was a shepherd after all, and he had come to realize the people of Israel were no different than sheep in need of guidance and love. God spoke to Moses, Take Joshua, who has my spirit, and lay your hand on him to bless him. Make him stand before Eleazar the priest and commission him. As dawn broke, Moses gathered Joshua, Eleazar, and the congregation of Israel. Moses looked at the people of Israel, God's sheep. Their hopeful faces shone from the rising sun. Moses' heart welled with love, hope, and sadness. He rose his hand and spoke his final blessings over them. Hear me, sweet children of Israel. Blessings and curses stand before you. Every day there will be a choice to choose between life and death, hope and hopelessness, good and evil. If you listen closely to the voice of God and obey his commands, he will restore your souls. He will circumcise your heart as he did your bodies. Love the Lord your God with all your soul, and you will prosper. Your enemies will be cursed, and all you do will succeed. For God will take delight in you, as he did your forefathers. Keep his commands close to your hearts. The afternoon had come, and Moses continued to speak to Israel with a contented smile on his face. I am 120 years old today. I am no longer able to keep myself upright. The Lord will go before you and lead. He will vanquish every nation that opposes you. Moses then held the shoulder of Joshua and brought him before the people. Joshua will lead you as the head. Be strong and courageous. Fear no one, for God will not leave you or forsake you. The people cheered as the final words of Moses struck the collective chord of Israel. Hope filled the crowd like an overflowing well. Moses turned to Joshua, holding his head close to his own. Be strong and have courage, he said to Joshua. It is God who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you. Do not fear anything. Moses' voice cracked as he held back tears. Joshua looked deeply into the eyes of Moses, the eyes of a man blessed by God. After this, Moses said his final blessings over Israel. He spoke to them as a tender and loving father. Tears streamed down their faces as they listened in silence. After Moses said his prayers and blessings over Israel, he sang over them. His voice was old and raspy, but the people were enraptured by every word. They swayed to the song, smiling. Moses sang to God, and in that moment, his heart for the Lord was pouring out onto all the people listening. The deep well of connection was now overflowing, and the people rejoiced. The sun began its descent. 
Moses then climbed up the plains of Moab towards Mount Nebo. There at the peak, the Lord showed Moses the entire land. God mapped out the countryside before him, making mention of where all the twelve tribes would dwell. This is the land I swore to Abraham, God said gently. Even though you will not step foot in it, I have allowed you to see it. The setting sun painted the sky a deep orange. The land was golden. A strong breeze galloped across the plains up towards the mountain and blew Moses' hair back. He could not take his eyes off Canaan. Since that infamous day he met God as a burning bush, Moses had dreamed of the day he would finally see it. The land flowing with milk and honey. Tears fell from Moses' cheeks. He smiled and continued to look towards the countryside. As the golden rays dimmed below the horizon, Moses breathed his last breath and was joined with God for all eternity. The people mourned and looked to Joshua for guidance, and God blessed Joshua and filled him with a courageous spirit. Thus the days of Moses came to a close. The man God had chosen to lead his people out of captivity had died. One day, a leader greater than Moses would lead God's children out of captivity from their sin. The sting of death would split in half, just as the Red Sea. He would be the greater Moses. So Israel waited hundreds of years until his arrival. <laughs>